and I look, behold, in the midst of the throne, uh, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits that God has sent out on earth. Let us pray. Our Lord, we pray that you help us to understand your word. In Jesus we have prayed. Amen. Amen. The title of our message this morning says, A man has been found. A man has been found. A man has been found. I would love my, my, my chorister here to sing just a chorus for us that I love. Then we get into our message. The one that says, Getting ways, that's so. Every way to watch it all for today. Mandela was released from Victor Fertzell prison in Cape Town. I was not there, but I was around. The reason why I was not there is because at that time I was only three years old. It was in 1990 when he came out of prison. And it happened that one day I was sitting at home watching a certain program that was a documentary that showed when Mandela was released from prison. Many people who were growing in those days, since Mandela was in prison for 27 years, majority did not even know how Mandela looked like, but they sang songs about a man they did not even know how he looks like. As the day came and it drew close to the man to be released from prison, I was seated at home watching a show that happened yesterday that was documenting that very event when a person who was an embodiment of emancipation to South Africans walked in freedom for the first time and stepped in liberation for the first time. I noticed something that was different that day. That day when I was watching TV, I saw people who were on wheelchairs who were there to see my dad. I saw people on crutches who were there to see Mandela. Their hope was to see Mandela. Yeah. I saw blind people who were not only there to see Mandela, but they were there to hear Mandela. Yeah. And I asked myself a serious question. The question that came after is what happened after they saw Mandela? The blind went back home blind. Those on wheelchairs went back on wheelchairs. Amen. The sick went back home sick. Yeah. Yeah. Because they were not there to see Jesus. Yes. They were there to see my dad. Yes. I want to say, brothers and sisters, this morning, that you can never see Jesus and remain. Amen. When Jesus appears, the blind will see. Amen. Those on wheelchairs will walk. Yeah. Those who do not hear, the deaf will, will start to hear yeah. because when we see Jesus, things don't remain the same way that they have remained. We are in the book of Revelation. Come with me to an airport. I want us to get into a flight, a flight that will take us to East Europe in a modern day country called Turkey. There is a sea called the Agency. Close to the ancient sea, there is, a, there is an island called Patmos. In the island 
called Patmos, there was a man called John. An old man called John who was there. Now, remember, John was the last disciple yeah. that was alive. Peter was crucified upside down. Yeah. Paul was, was beheaded. All the disciples had died at the death of Matthias. Mm -hmm. And only one man that was alive called John. He was what I called the then general conference president who was running the church in the island of Patmos. He did not need to be in the church, but he needed to be in the spirit to Amen. run the church. Okay. In the sea, in the, in the island of Patmos, we can say John was in the presence of his absence. He was in his presence while he was absent. Yes, sir. God was present. He could not be touched, but he was there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. In the book of Revelation, many Bible students say the book of John, John is the revelator. But I want to discourage you this morning and tell you that John is not the revelator. Not. Because no. man cannot reveal God unless God reveals himself. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. When you read chapter 1 of the yeah. book of John, of Revelation, it says the yeah. revelation of Jesus that Jesus gave to John. It is either it is the genetive of the subject yeah. or the genetive of the object. Okay. It is either Jesus is revealing himself or Jesus is being revealed by the one he yeah. gives an, an ability to reveal him. Yes, sir. Amen. The Amen. book of John, the book of Revelation, one writer, Tertullian, says, when John was an old man, Frank, he was arrested around 94 AD by an emperor called Domitian. And he was given an opportunity to recant. They said to him, recant. Recant, deny Jesus, and you will be saved. And history says, John said, give me at least one hour so that I should pray and speak to God for an hour. John was on his knees, then he came back and said to the emperor, I've been working with this Jesus for 95 years. And after working with him, he has done me nothing wrong. He has only been good to me. The only thing that you can do to me is to kill me. The, uh, history says they, they, they made oil to be hot. And they threw him in a boiling oil. When they opened, they saw that the oil was like a swimming pool to a prophet, old man of God. Yeah. When they were discouraged, they said, let us remove his eyes. But it is when his eyes are removed that we find him saying, I saw. I saw. How can one see mm. when he has no eyes? Amen. We can only see when the eyes are not there yes. and the spirit is present. Yes. Amen. We can have eyes, but we cannot see. Some have eyes, but they do not see. John had eyes. He had no eyes, but he could see. Yeah. We are in the book of Revelation chapter 5. Now, before you get to the book of Revelation chapter 5, the assumption is that you read Revelation chapter 1 to 5. Now, Revelation chapter 3, it concludes with Jesus knocking in the door at the door. The Bible says, I stand at the door and I knock. Amen. If anyone hears my voice and he opens, I shall know. There is a problem with that verse. Jesus is standing at the door. The difference between this door and an ordinary door is that it has no handle in the outside. Yeah, yes. The handle is in the inside. It is the one who is inside that can open the door Amen. from inside. Amen. Amen. Now it is concluding. Revelation chapter 3 concludes with Jesus as the door. Revelation chapter 4 introduces itself with the door in heaven that stood a child open. John says, and I saw a door stood in heaven, and it was opened. It stood ajar in heaven. Now, these two doors are different doors. One is the door of the heart. The other one is the door of the sanctuary. What do we learn? Is that if we give Jesus access to the door of our heart, Jesus will give us access to the door of the sanctuary. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We cannot have an access to the sanctuary if we do not give him an access to our hearts. The book of Revelation chapter 4 is an interesting book. The language of the book of Revelation chapter 4 says rotates around the throne. John in chapter 4 is interested on the throne. The language says around the throne, besides the throne, and in the throne. 
Yeah. John is interested in the throne. Chapter 5, John's interest is no longer in the throne, but now the interest is in the book that was held in the right hand of the one that was seated on the throne. The throne. Then the, an angel came, a question was asked, who is worthy to open the book? Yeah. And an answer came that no one was found worthy on earth and in heaven that was found worthy to open the book. The Bible says John started crying because there was no one who was found worthy to open the book. Probably, I think to myself, there are men that have influenced history. We read in his men called Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He says, I have a dream. Mm -hmm. After he presented one of the most powerful speeches, I have a dream, he was shot and he died. He was not the man. We find a man like Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. He says, my name is not Malcolm Smith. I'm Malcolm X because I was taken from Africa. The white surname is not my real surname. Therefore, it makes X stands for the unknown. Therefore, I am Malcolm X. He was shot and he died because he was not the man. We go to Ghana. There's a man called Kwame Nkrumah, the first black president in Africa, who came with the one powerful socialist agenda. He came and the forms of Africa were nailed in this man, Nkwame Nkrumah. He came and he died. Why did he die? He was not the man. We go to Nigeria. There is a man called Amuka Baliwa, one of the greatest men that you could ever have in Africa. He also died because he was not the man. We go to South Africa. A man called Nelson Mandela, he was there, he got old and frail, and he died because he was not yeah. the man. We come to Zimbabwe, there is a man called Josia Tongoka, a man who was also here in history. He came and he died because he yeah. was not yeah. the man. Yeah. But come to me to the book of Revelation. When John was crying, the elder says, cry not, John. Right. Because the lion of the type of Judah yeah. has been found and he is worthy to open yeah. the book. He is called the lion of the type right. of Judah, the root of David. Amen. When a tree grows, it begins from the root. When David, before he became a king, David existed before Jesus, yes. but his root was with Jesus. Amen. Amen. The lion Amen. of the type of Judah has been found worthy to open the book. I have a question. Why an interest on the book? Why was the book so much of a fuss to the prophet? One is that in the ancient days, when a king was put in power, he would be given a book, a scroll, that has a seven seals in it. In that book lies the future and the history of the nation. Other writer says, the book in itself, it was not just an ordinary book, it was a title deed of the universe. Therefore, our history and our hope and our tomorrow existed lied on the book being opened. The Bible says when the lion of the type of Judah was found worthy to open the book, John says, when I look, now listen to the language of the Bible. The 24 elders says, the lion of the tribe of Judah. But when John looks, he does not see a lion of the tribe of Judah. He sees the Lamb of God. There is a difference. John is told, he hears the lion of the tribe of Judah. But when he sees, he sees the Lamb of God that was slain. The difference why he hears two different things. One is that the elders have already been saved. They have already experienced Jesus as the Lamb of God. You will never experience Jesus as the Lion of the tribe of Judah if you have not yet experienced him as the Lamb that, slain, that was slain in Calvary. Amen. Get to know him. Get to experience him. Then you would know who he is. Why it is important for the man to be found. One is because when this man who is found worthy to open the book, when he stands, things in the world 
will not remain the same. Allow me to say to you, brothers and sisters, this morning, we are living in the end time. Jesus is about to come. When we see the world, economy is telling us that we are even much closer to something that is about to happen. We are closer than we first believed. We are closer to home because home is not far away from where we are going. Allow me to say, brothers and sisters, a story is told of a young boy who studied in a certain village where he was studying. People to go to school, they would use a boat and the father sends a telegram. A telegram says to him, son, when the schools close, do not wait for me in the new harbor, okay. but stand in the old harbor. And the schools closed. When everyone went to the new harbor, the young man went to the old harbor. He stood at the old harbor. The rains began to come, and the father delayed to come. And people said to him, you are in a wrong harbor. This harbor is closed. Go to the new harbor. And this boy said, I shall not move. I shall not go. For my father said, I must stand in the old harbor. The rains came. The winds came. They asked him, go. He said, I shall not go. Because my father said, I must stand in the old harbor. And it happened as he was standing in the old harbor. His father's sheep was approaching. As he saw a flag flying high, he started clapping hands and said, I told you that my father said I must stand in the old harbor. I told you that my father was going to come. Brothers and sisters, when they say to you, go in the new harbor, where is the new harbor? is where Makandiwa is. Tell them that my father said I must stand in the old harbor. Amen. Where is the old harbor? Amen. The old harbor is where the word of God is preached. Stand in the old harbor. Amen. When people tell you, come to a new way of dressing, tell them that the old time religion is better Amen. than the new time Amen. religion. When they say to you, leave the church, tell them that the old harbor is the spirit of God. Ellen White says the church might seem as if it is dying, but it shall leave, it shall reach the shore. Yes, because the one who is in the pit top of this flight is, uh, is none other than Prince Emmanuel. When they say to you, go to the new harbor, a new harbor is the harbor that says you are saved by grace without the law. Tell them that the old harbor says, we are justified by faith, but we are judged by the law. When they tell you this morning that you go to the old harbor, the old harbor is a place where we believe in a man. Tell them that the old harbor, we do not believe in humanity, but we believe in Jesus Amen. and his righteousness. Amen. I want you to know you are in the right place because the Jesus is the owner of this church. Amen. Jesus is in the pit cup of this heart. I want you to know Amen. that Pastor Musara will one day be dead, will bury him as the president. <laughs> yes, the church will continue. Amen. When Naiwa dies, the church shall continue. We'll continue. But there are churches that are built on men. <coughs> yeah. When their men dies, the church is closed down yeah. because they are built and founded on men. I am here to tell you that our Prince Emmanuel, the one who is worthy to open the book, the book. has been found, and the book Amen. is in his hands, Amen. and our lives are in his hands. Amen. My question this morning is, is your life in the hands of the one who owns the whole world? Is your life anchored in the righteousness of Jesus? It is an Almighty right to write that when Jesus shall come, when they look to the east, they shall see a small cloud as yes. a hand of a human being. Yes. And it shall appear and come closer yes. and closer. And it shall appear to be brighter. Allow me to see a different, this, this thing different. You see, when the cloud shall come, it shall not land. But I want you to know, I believe that the, the cloud will come to what so it. As it comes back to what so it. Yeah. It will say we are not here for so yeah. and the cloud will divide itself. 
and go to Zimbabwe. Yeah. When it gets to Zimbabwe, it will say we are not here for Zimbabwe only. It will divide itself and go to Asia. Yeah. When it gets to Asia, it will say we are not here for Asians only. Yeah. And the cloud shall divide itself again and it shall go to the uttermost parts of the world. Now John, when he writes in Revelation 1, 7, he says, behold, he coming. He coming. Yeah. And all the eyes yeah. shall see him. Now geographically, that cannot happen. That one person appears and we see him at the same time. There is something that will happen. Amen. When Emmanuel Amen. comes and steps Amen. out, there will be a continental deconstruction. Yeah. There will be an earthquake. An earthquake that will pull Africa closer to Asia. Amen. That will pull Asia closer to Africa. Yeah. That will pull West Europe closer to Europe. And it shall become one thing. And the prophecy Amen. that says, all the eyes Amen. shall see him. It shall be fulfilled. Amen. Ah, I am waiting for that day. Amen. Some of us have got brothers and sisters and mothers who died and they are sleeping in the grave. Let me tell you about South Africa. I was born in Soweto. We have a problem of car hijacking. Right. As the problem of car hijacking became a, a serious problem. Companies came with what is called a tracking device. Your car will be put in track. When your car is stolen, even when it is hidden underground, the tracker will respond pointing where the car is. I want to believe, brothers and sisters, that those who know Jesus, they receive a spiritual track. Yes, sir. But you know they die Amen. and they are asleep in the grave. Yeah. When Jesus shall come, a track from underneath yes, the grave yeah. shall have to sound yes, and they, the graves will be open. Amen. I want you to know, get a spiritual track before you die. Amen. I, I want to believe Amen. the Bible says, when he shall come, then he life he says, now what we shall be has not yet been revealed. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him. Amen. You know, I, 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 I picture this thing. When I will be home in Soweto starting to lose gravity, the world will no longer be able to hold yes. it up. Yes, sir. Gravity itself will no longer be able to contain That's it. Pastor. As I lose my, my gravity, I'm taken to heaven. I, I, I have this thing in my mind that is this kind of a cloud that will come and take us home. It's a different kind of a jet. It is not the 747. But it is a jet that is functioning and fashioned and designed in heaven. In that jet, Jesus himself becomes a pilot. Amen. Therefore, if Jesus becomes a pilot, we are not running a risk of having a cloud. No. And allow me to no. say, this comes to my mind, that you see, when we get into the flight, it will be said, that the pathfinders must be a salute. All the oh, yeah. pathfinders oh, yeah. will stand with their uniform. Mm. And I believe that Pastor Ted Wilson will be leading us into the church. Okay. But do not be quick. Now, Jesus will be leading. Behind Jesus, it will be me. And behind me, Ted Wilson will okay. come. Okay. And the rest of the church okay. will follow us as we okay. go to heaven. Okay. The reason okay. why. I will follow Jesus. Amen. Because if Jesus would have known my name, okay. I do not know, brothers and sisters, yeah. is your name known okay. by the one who would be rushing us into heaven. Amen. Mother White says, Amen. our journey to heaven, from this place to heaven, yeah. it will take a period of seven days. Yes, sir. It is a different kind of a church, a church that has a baptismal pool in it. Okay. I have never seen okay. it. Those who died, not having been believing in Jesus, but to live on the life that they have received, they would be baptized on the way yes, home. Sir. Yes, sir. I have never been to Europe, but when I lose gravity, I will ask Jesus. Sure. Jesus, show me Taiwan. He will show me Taiwan, and I will see it burning down or separate by Taiwan. I will ask Jesus, show me Paris, Jesus. He will show me Muira. Yeah. There is Paris. Then I will see Paris burning down. I will ask him, show me London. And London will be shown. Now, imagine with me, come with me as we land into the new Jerusalem International Airport. <laughs> okay. As we land, okay. the Bible says the gates will be left ajar open. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, when you go yes, to Zimbabwe, you need to pass the immigration. Oh, yeah. Even at the airport, I had the problem of immigration yeah. because they wanted me a passport. 
even in heaven, we will need the passport. But all of us will have one passport. Oh, yeah. And one passport it is the name King of Jesus. Okay. When they okay. ask us, where is the passport? We will all look yes, at sir. Jesus. Amen. And Jesus will say, all has been paid. Okay. Let them get in into the capital city of New Jerusalem. Amen. Ah, allow me to tell you, brothers and sisters, the book of Isaiah says, Sabbath after Sabbath, will be sitting at the feet of yes. Jesus. Now I, I have a vision that the Japanese will be sitting one side. Okay. Ask Zimbabweans. Ask Zimbabweans. <laughs> will be sitting one side. Okay. All South Africans, those who are not criminals, will be sitting one side. Okay. Side. And we will go on. Malawians will be sitting one side. Okay. And they will say to us, let us sing a song. When they sing a rule, all sing a song at a goal. In okay. our different language, but the song will all be understood by all of us. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see these things. I, I normally think that when I get to heaven, I would want to see Abraham. But okay. Abraham will not be in us. Maybe I would want to see David. Okay. David will tell you that after I have seen with Bathsheba, after I have fallen with Bathsheba, it is grace that took me here. Saved by grace, but spared by mercy. Yeah. I will go and ask Manasseh, the most sinful king in uh -huh. the Bible. Uh -huh. I will ask him, he will say, saved by grace, spared by mercy. Uh -huh. I will go and see Rahab. I will ask Rahab. Rahab, he will tell me that all men in Jericho knew my name, but I'm here saved by grace, spared by mercy. Amen. I shall go to all the heroes. I shall go to Moses. I shall ask him, he will say, I was a murderer, but I was spared by grace and saved by mercy. But it will not be enough up until we see Jesus. Amen. When we see Jesus Amen. and we sit at the feet of Jesus, he shall tell us everything that we want asked. Allow me to finish it this way. The Sabbath we shall come. Maybe we'll be asking ourselves questions. Who shall have the Sabbath school? Okay. And yeah. some will say, Pastor Musara, based on his position as the president of the no, East Zimbabwe Conference, no. shall see and he will be no. telling, he will be told, no, Musara must stand aside, he's a newcomer yeah. in heaven. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then we shall go, probably others will say, Mark Finley. No. And the answer will come, no, yeah. yes. Mark Finley is a newcomer yes, in heaven. Sir. He must stand one side. Yes. And we'll ask him, Naiwa. Naiwa will be ready to take over the youth. Yeah. But he will be told, Naiwa say, one side. Pastor Mzira, one side, all are newcomers. I have it in my mind that Gabriel, the first angel, okay. Okay. shall come and conduct the Sabbath school. And you know, the Sabbath school will not be an hour. The Sabbath school will just be only five minutes. And they will summarize the story of redemption. Okay. And we'll be told that divine service shall come. Who shall preach to take us? It. Yes, sir. And I'll think that probably Elder Bethel. Yeah. Then they will tell us, our Elder Bethere is the newcomer in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. He's a junior. Yeah. But I come, in my mind, I see Prince Emmanuel Jesus himself Amen. coming to conduct the divine service. I tell you, the sermon will not be as long as we will have sermon. It will only be a sermon of 15 minutes. He will say the title of our sermon this morning, brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. We are going to summarize the Bible from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. Amen. The Bible says in the beginning, God saw Jesus who said in the beginning, I created the Amen. Amen. When we get to the book Amen. of Revelation, in the book Amen. of Revelation, behold, he is coming. Thank you. John will no longer be reporting. He will say, behold, I came. Amen. And I took you to myself. And the sermon will be finished. And everything oh, will yeah. be sorted. I, I want to ask you, brothers, would you want to miss that occasion? No. 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 Oh, Amen. I submit to you this morning a Jesus that is coming again. Revelation simply tells us that the book is in the hand of God. Therefore, our future, our tomorrow is safe when it is in Jesus. I want to tell you that Jesus is enough. You know, let me tell you a story, then I, I, I make a call. You know, one day, you know, when you are still a young preacher, then move again, when yeah. I see the evangelist, yes. you get so excited about the preaching ideas. Ne? So one day, there is this bus in South Africa, yeah, Zimbabwe is there these days as well. They're called Greyhound. Ne? Greyhound. So remember, I grew up in Soweto. <laughs> Greyhound is a different kind of a bus, it has upstairs. 
So I was always fascinated by white people. You know, when they come and look at us from the upstairs, then I said, one day is one day. I will be at the Greyhound. And it happened one day, they made a mistake. They invited me to Deben. When I got there, my, my, my Bob, Macriza, my Bob, All right. she prepared for me. There is what we call a damn baby dumb boy. Okay. Because she did not have money and gave me a juicy soup aid when you put a lot of powder in that thing, yeah. then you would just say, hey, yeah, young man, now go away. Now I got into the bus as a very proud guy, having my dumb on my dumb bins, and all patches that my grandmother had done, proudly so. And the Greyhound bus, when they see me, they say, Mr. Mwila say, welcome. Then I was shocked, where do they know my name? And they would say, please, your seat is seat number. And it was upstairs, all my dreams, when I was still young, they fulfilled by me sitting upstairs. But now, I had a problem. I was sitting next to a white guy for the first time in my life, sitting next to a white person. Now, at the Greyhound, they would normally serve food. They would give you food. But now, I thought the food at the Greyhound was sold. So when they came to me, I said, thank you very much. Because I was taught on the black consciousness. Steve Biko says, in the book I write what I like, my blackness is not just a pigmentation, but it's a mental reflection of who I am. I am black and proud. I am not a charity case. Then I said, no, thank you. I am fine. Because I was afraid of saying, I do not have, I do not have money. The food would pass. Later on, because I'm a man, my shumba will testify, I am a man who is blessed with an appetite. When they passed, I couldn't hold myself. Now, this guy, as he will take the food, he will start to eat. I will be eating my home domol, whilst my heart is in what the white guy is eating. <laughs> so he would eat as he is eating, because I am proud. Later, I couldn't help him myself. I told him, like, no, the reason why I'm not taking this food is simply because I do not have money. The white man started laughing and said, no, young man, when the ticket of this bus was bought, even the food was paid for. Mm. Then I said to myself, okay, I was no longer looking forward for the trip to Deben to preach. I was looking forward for the return trip to Johannesburg so that I would make up for the food that missed on the way. <laughs> now, I want you to know that I lost out the food because I thought it was so. Some of us would lose heaven because we think heaven is expensive. Mm. Why would we be lost when salvation is for free? Jesus has paid it all. I want to make a call this morning, a call of those. First, I want to make two kinds of calls. First, I want to call those who say, I want to be baptized so that when that time shall come, when the eastern sky shall be burst open, I shall be amongst those who will be saved. If you are there, please stand up, come forward this morning as we pray with you. Today there will be a baptism and we want you to come to give you an opportunity to come forward. Jesus is calling you to come forward. If you say, I want to give myself to Jesus. I have heard the messages have been preached and I want to give my life to Jesus as others are baptized. I want to be amongst those who will be baptized. If you are there, Jesus is inviting you this morning to come forward and make prayers with you. Please come forward. Do not be afraid. I want to be, I'm making a call. A call is extended. I want to join those who will be baptized. God bless my, you, my brother. Come forward and join those who will be baptized. Please come forward as we do and make a prayer for you to sing for us. It is in the honoring the Syriac to my Lord. I Oh. 
Oh, 
Amen. Just before I sit down, I don't know whether it's hot or like it's uh, just something. I just want to say uh, my shumba, uh, my first time in I enjoyed myself in Yazura, you made my stay comfortable. God bless you. I don't want to say to you when you are God bless you. Tino-ziba. Chashika Tanyamuka We Zijodan Zijodan